<laughs> Hello world, how y'all doing? <laughs> it's a beautiful night. <laughs> you know, I was just watching the Nintendo Direct and I just laughed. <laughs> you know, the, you know the Wii U, the Wii U is light year, light years, light years ahead of the Switch. The Wii U is light years ahead of the Switch. Um, you know, whatever you know, the Wii U, anything that you try, the Wii U can do whatever the PlayStation Three does. The Wii U can do whatever the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty does. It can do whatever the um, PS Four, Xbox One do. And it can do whatever the Xbox Series X and PS5 do. The, <laughs> the Wii U is light years ahead of the Switch. And after watching the, the Nintendo Direct a minute ago, <laughs> you know, what happened to the Wii U was lies, laziness, and excuses. You know, Nint Nintendo Corporation should have kept using the Wii U. Because it had the Nintendo fan base needs, it had the Nintendo fan base needs met, and all they had to do was make it backwards compatible with GameCube, you know, during the during the during the uh, during the, the the Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, Play, PlayStation 3 era. That's all they had to do. You know, the Wii, the Switch can't the Switch can't keep up with the Xbox One. The Switch can't keep up with the X with the PS4. The Switch can't keep up with the PS5 and the Switch definitely can't keep up with the uh, with the Xbox Series X. The Wii U can keep up with the with the uh, with the PS4, the Xbox One, the PS5, PS5 and Xbox Series X. All they need is some power behind it. So going against the Wii U, Nintendo is failing. You know, you know, I mean, you know, the the video the vi the video with uh, Crash Bandicoot. You know, with the article on Crash Bandicoot, it exposed the Switch. The Switch can't keep up with none of those consoles. So, Nintendo's going to have to go back to the Wii U because the Wii U is the answer to their problem. And then, um, it, it can definitely keep up with Xbox One, PS4, or uh, Xbox Series X, PS5. What the Wii U is really missing is the, the GameCube backwards compatibility. Uh, SSD port on the back of the Wii U, ray tracing and teraflop. You know what I'm saying? You know, like how the PlayStation 3 has a wallpaper for their games. The Wii U on the Wii U's graphical user interf interface, one of those folders can be just for wallpapers from your games. Another folder could be for Blu-ray and DVD apps. So you can watch Blu-ray and DVD on the Wii U. So the Wii U is better. Um, you know, the Switch, the, the the Wii U is portable. And you can play the Wii U docked or undocked. You know, once the signal strength is fixed, turn the TV off, go outside, turn on the tablet, and then play the game remotely. So, whatever Nintendo is trying to do with the Switch, the Wii U um, does it better, so much better. So, like I said, building the Switch was a waste of time. Building the docking station, the games on SD cards, the Switch Pro controller, the Switch network, all that was a waste. Nintendo should have kept using the Wii U. So what what what, what comes when it comes when it, when it comes to the Wii U, it all came down to lies, laziness, and excuses. You know, so that's why they're missing out on games. You know, and Nintendo, they, you know, they 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 held out, they held out on the Wii U. They stonewalled the Wii U. They cursed the Wii U. They condemned it. They stalled the Wii U out. Waited out. They bought some time. They did all that to try to kill the Wii U, but the Wii U is still thriving. You can't kill it. Because all the features on the Wii U is current for today's time. And all the features on the Wii U is a part of your gaming, gaming livelihood, so you can't take it away. Whether it's the virtual console, whether it's the Miiverse, whether it's the internet, whether it's the YouTube, Hulu, Amazon TV, or Netflix. You can't get rid of it. Whether it's the Mii Maker, whether it's the... Uh, the friends list you can't or the Wii U chat you know and the Wii U tablet has a camera on it so the Wii U is the real deal so Nintendo try to kill the system but they're failing you know and then like I said when I saw the Nintendo Direct I just laughed I didn't say you can't be serious you know so it's like they're dig them they dig themselves in a deeper hole you know and now they're taking games from the, the Wii U to put it to the switch 
when they should have when they should have fixed the Wii U and then released the DLC to the games that you already have. You know, you're talking about bringing what Sky Skyward Sword to the Switch when you can get it in the Wii U's eShop. So yeah, uh, Wii U, uh, Wii U is better, man. So. They, they, they were every time they go against the Wii U, they're losing, you know. They're losing big time. And, like, like I said, the article from Gamers Ran about Crash Bandicoot, you know, shows that the Switch cannot keep up with the next gen consoles, you know. So, yeah, and plus, you know, CDs are the standard for, for video games. You get a better quality in video games. With CDs, you get a better quality in music. With CDs, you get a better quality in movies. With CDs, so the Wii U is the answer to the Nintendo fan base problem, and they need to they need to continue using it, man. Because if they keep using the Switch, they're gonna find themselves in a hole that they can't get out of. You know, I mean, the Wii U right now is better than the Switch, and it's gonna be better than the 4K Switch that's coming out. So, yeah. Like I said, the Wii U is only missing like four to five things. That's it. But, you know, so you need a powerful console to compete with a powerful console. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. The console is just better, man. When I saw that they, they, they released the Ninja Gaiden on the Switch, the Wii U has Ninja Gaiden Sigma, you know, Ninja Gaiden 3, you know. So... <laughs> It was just a waste, man, so, um, like I told you guys, you know, there's no such thing as a Mario Maker 2 because the first game was so big, and, um, you were, uh, the first, you were busy building levels, so what should have happened, Nintendo should have built an expansion and add on top of what they already have, you know, like I asked you guys, what's the difference between Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's the same game, you know, it's a DLC for the Wii U, DLC meaning downloadable content, so, yeah. Wii U is better, man. So every time they go against the Wii U, they are losing. You know, CD, CD holds more data than SD cards. And the article like, on on um, from the on the article on Crash Bandicoot, it's about time expose the Switch because they took a game from the PlayStation 4 that was 45 gigs and shrinked it down to 9.5 gigs on the Switch. So you're missing like 35 gigs of information. And then with Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, they took Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, that's on the 25 gig CD, and shrink it down to 14.4 gigs. So you're missing 11 gigs of uh, information. So the Switch is just a piece of junk, man. So um, <laughs> it going against the Wii U was a big mistake, and, and Nintendo is losing. So this notion that they don't want to build, build a powerful console is just an excuse, you know, to try to control the fans. It's just laziness. You know what I'm saying? It's an excuse, lies, and laziness. So, the Wii U is the real deal, man. Wii U has all angles of gaming covered. All angles. Yep. Whatever direction Nintendo was trying to go in, the Wii U had that covered. And the Wii U was designed to pull everybody out the dark hole that they're in. Plus, it was designed to combat whatever Sony and Microsoft is doing console-wise. The Wii U is that good, so... Going against it, going against the Wii U, you, they, they're losing, and it's showing. You know, because when I, once I read the article on Crash Bandicoot, I was like, because you know, the, you had certain YouTubers that try to push this sales narrative in your face all day. But sales ain't the end all, be all to video games, and sales never tell the truth about a console. The Wii U just needed to be refreshed. The signal strength between the tablet and the console needed to be fixed. The 25 gig CD needed some more space on it. The Wii U itself needed more CPU power, more RAM. The video card was fine. They used Nvidia as a publicity stunt to try to build a Switch. You know, so they didn't need Nvidia. All they do was to refresh the console, and they just need to make it backwards compatible with GameCube at the time, and then push the Wii U back out of the market. So, you know? and then when the then when the Xbox Series X and PS5 comes around again, you up the RAM a little bit more, you up the CPU power a little bit more, and then you put an SSD port with ray tracing and teraflops. 
that. So everything that they're trying to do with the Switch, the Wii U was designed to pull them away from all that. They're going through headaches with the thing, man. So, you know, I watch people make all kind of excuses. With, you know, make all kind of ex excuses for the Switch, but the Wii U is just simply better than the Switch. From sunrise to sunset, 365 days a year, the Wii U is better, man. So, going against that console is a, is <laughs> <laughs> it is a big mistake, man, and and it's showing, you know, because the Xbox Series X and PS5 is about to release an onslaught of games, an onslaught of games, okay, and the Switch, the Switch won't be able to keep up with them. They can try, I mean, they can try to talk sales numbers all they want, but you need a powerful console to compete with a powerful console, man. So yeah, yeah, but Nintendo was was crazy for going against the Wii U, and it is showing. The Miiverse just needs a a coloring option, unlimited text, emojis, memes. Drawing is a part of the gaming experience. So the Wii U had the Nintendo fan base needs met. They just need to refresh the console. But pride, arrogance, and hard headedness, plus lies, laziness, and excuses. That's why the system the system ain't getting the refresh it was supposed to. Because of lies, laziness, and excuses. So yeah. The Wii U is better. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave a link in the description box, you know, um, to show this, this with the crash article. Plus, I'm going to leave another link with the Xenoblade Chronicle X because the Wii U can run Skyrim. You know that there's plenty of games the Wii U can run. You can't kill the system. Plenty of games. So, yeah, Wii U is better. But anyway, nice talking to you people. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dwarf Dark Side. Oh, peace.